Hi, and welcome to The Travel Boss. Today's video is about the top 10 things to do in Rotterdam. Rotterdam is easily the second largest city in the Netherlands and a perfect place to visit if you're on a trip around the country. That being said, it's the perfect kind of place for a long weekend break too. As with most new cities you visit, it can be tricky to nail down some of the best things to do in Rotterdam. We managed to arrange a nice offer for you as a viewer on one of the activities. You can find the link in the description, but more about this later. Let's get started. Number 10. Go up the Euromast Tower. For some stunning views over Rotterdam and beyond, head to the very top of the Euromast Tower. Book these tickets before arriving, as it can get busy at certain times of the year. After all, it really is one of the best things to do in Rotterdam if you're looking for views across the city. Standing about 185 meters, give or take a few centimeters. This is the tallest building in Rotterdam and is easily recognizable. Once you get to the top, you can scan the horizon while learning a little more about the city and its history. Just make sure to wrap up warm. It can get really chilly at the top. If you feel peckish, head to the restaurant up there or even stay in one of the Euromass Tower's fancy suits. They have a round two. If you're feeling really brave, you can even up seal or zip line for the tower itself. Though it might be best to skip lunch if you plan to do that. And don't forget to book an incredible tour of the harbor by boat in Rotterdam. It's such a great way to explore the city, especially for a few hours. Number 9. Gorge at Markthol Rotterdam. Once you step inside, you'll notice well over 100 stalls, cool bars, and lots of foodie joints where you can fill up. It's one of the best places in the city for lunch. Now, Obviously, being in such an iconic building, the Markthal isn't just about the food. Make sure to look around the whole structure, too. It really is impressive. The ceiling, for instance, has the biggest artwork in the Netherlands called the Horn of Plenty, which you can't miss. It's a five-layered artwork that will honestly mesmerize you. Number 8. Explore Museum Park. Every European city has its share of fascinating museums but the ones in Rotterdam are totally amazing. Pop over to the museum park, where you can choose between or visit all six of the museums, which include Het Nieuw Institute, Museum Winning Sonnetald, Chabot Museum, Natural Historisch Museum, Museum Benjamins van Buningen Kunsthal. Get the museum park ticket for around 30 euros, which will allow you to visit five museums in the park, excluding Het Nieuw Institute. It's one of the best things to do in Rotterdam if you love museums and is a perfect place to spend a morning if the weather takes a turn for the worst. Number 7. Find the Cube Houses, Kick Cubus. Okay, so the Cube Houses, Kick Cubus, of Rotterdam are probably some of the most famous in all of the city. Envisioned and conceptualized by Pete Blom, they are totally unique and unlike anything else in the country. Tilted at a 45-degree angle, the cubes are totally abstract and really cool spaces that you have to see. To see what it looks like on the inside, you can visit the Kick Cubus, or the Show Cube, which is a furnished house that is open to visitors. It was only a few euros. Alternatively, you could just stay in a cube house through Erden. What a place to call home! Number 6. Wander the Old Harbor and Marine Museums For a little maritime adventure, Head over to the old harbor, Alhaven. Filled with restored historic boats, gorgeous walkways, and a heap of restaurants, it's the best place to visit for a little relaxation and a little tipple. Pop into a part which has the meanest stone-cooked steaks ever. They're delicious. Don't fret, though. If you're a veggie, they've got a gorge-worthy fondue that will induce cheese hallucinations. After all that gorging, head over to the Maritime Museum Rotterdam, too. It's the perfect place to better understand the history of this area, the city's waterways, and its connection to the sea. Also check out the Harbor Museum, which is an open-air home to the 19th century Buffalo ship. It's one of the best things to do in Rotterdam if you love checking out the history of a place. That being said, you may want to give it a miss if you're not into a big old history lesson. Plus, no maritime adventure in Rotterdam is complete without visiting the SS Rotterdam too. Number 5. Scroll through Delfshaven. Unlike much of Rotterdam, the district of Delfshaven 
actually survived the destruction by World War II. This all means that it almost feels like you've stepped back in time to an older version of Rotterdam that's so different from the shiny new areas. It's a pretty easy tram ride to visit Delfshaven from any part of the city, and the city feels really easy to navigate so you'll easily find it. After strolling the neighborhood, make sure to visit the old church in Delfshaven. This was the point where pilgrims held the last service before sailing for the new world across the Atlantic. Number 4. Experience the Phoenix Food Factory Look, there's no hiding that any holiday to Rotterdam should include a few indulgent spots to eat and drink. For me, Phoenix Food Factory is that place, filled with stalls serving everything from local cheese boards, BBQ, and cakes. It's one of the best things to do in Rotterdam if you're feeling peckish. Once you're here, check out the Cops Brower's Microbrewery. Cheese from Buich Cosmakers, meat from the firm Abitin, and the best cakes from Jordy's Bakery. Yes, you'll be stuffed, but it's totally worth it. Number 3. Find Grote of St. Lawrencekirk The Grote of St. Lawrencekirk is considered to be one of the only standing medieval buildings in all of Rotterdam and a place not to miss. Built between 1149 and 1525, the church is incredible to wander around. With its bronze doors, beautiful interiors, and stained glass, it's one of the best things to do in Rotterdam if you love history. Don't forget to spot some of its most famous residents too, the three huge organs. Number 2. Wander through Wit de Wittstraat People seem to either love or hate Wit de Wittstraat, a street in the center of Rotterdam. In lots of ways, Wit de Wittstraat is a little like a mini shortage in London or Williamsburg in NYC, if that makes sense. It kind of has a hipster vibe and totally cool little cafes, bars, and a few night spots too. That being said, I've heard people describe it as a bit try too hard now and it no longer has the same vibe it once had. Whatever the case, it's worthwhile for you to make up your own mind and see it for yourself. Number 1. Rotterdam Boat Tour Our absolute number one tip to do when you are in Rotterdam is to explore the city by boat. Experience one of the world's most innovative ports in all its glory on this city cruise in Rotterdam. Admire the city's skyline from the comfort of your vessel with an audio guide. Embark on a round-trip city cruise of Rotterdam to see one of the world's most innovative ports in the world. See the busy traffic of seagoing and inland ships. Listen to informative commentary via an audio guide. And admire the city's impressive skyline as its imposing buildings glide by. Please note, Boat tours are very popular. If you want to assure yourself of a place now, you can book your tickets in advance via the link in our description. Our tip is to do this in advance. To avoid disappointment, if you can't, you can cancel the tickets free of charge. Start your boat tour from Willemsplein. Get a unique perspective of the harbor shipyards, docks, and the hypermodern transshipping of thousands of containers. On way back, soak in views of the steamship Rotterdam the former cruise flagship of shipping company Holland America Line. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.